The title of my film, Social Suicide, creates an enigma code which is conventional of opening sequences, making the audience want to continue watching. The title could be seen literally foreshadowing the boy may attempt to commit suicide because of what has happened, or a metaphor that he metaphorically killed his status socially online. The locations are quite simple, but in terms of social class did not show the lower or middle class, which is unconventional of the genre, challenging it, and showing that what happened in the storyline can happen to anyone. There are only two locations in my opening sequence. The limiting of locations and scenes is conventional of opening sequences, as to not make it appear like a trailer. The costumes show the characters are young and still go to school. Most social drama films focus on teenagers, showing this aspect of my opening sequence uses and supports conventions. This is shown in the film Fish Tank, where the main character is young and isolated, and the audience is made to feel sympathy towards the boy, in my opening sequence, the audience is made to feel sympathy towards the main character, encouraged by the haunting voices at the end of my opening sequence. The phone is a very important prop, as the problems in my opening sequence are all caused because of that. In Cyberbilly, a film created in 2011, a girl meets someone online who spreads rumours about her, and later on in the film, she decides to take her own life. This could be an enigma code of my opening sequence, depending on how the viewer interprets the storyline. The editing style of my opening sequence is generally slow paced, which is conventional of the genre. However, at the end, when the main character is walking towards the big group of people, the pace quickens, building up tension. This can also be seen in Kidhood. This film has a fast paced opening of the choppy shots between the teens running around, which is unconventional of the genre. Most of the camera work in my opening is handheld, as this gives a sense of reality to the film. Both of these aspects of my opening sequence challenge conventions of the social drama genre. I did this to make my enigma code clear and to make the audience feel sympathy towards the boy. The typing effect of the titles show issues within the opening sequence as it reflects the use of technology and social media where all the issues within my opening sequence are caused. The font is simple but effective and links with the theme of my opening sequence, conventional of this. The typewriter style of font reinforces the idea of the dangers of social media. Most social drama films, such as Bullet Boy, use a simple font as this is conventional of the genre. I have developed this by adding a typing transition in the main title and in the credit titles. The storyline is introduced to the audience by showing the problem the main character is faced with. This creates the stepping stone for where the story will lead. This is conventional of opening sequences, as it easily introduces the storyline, preparing the audience for the rest of the film. The genre of my opening sequence is suggested by the slow pace at the beginning and the simplicity of the titles. Both of these features are conventional of the genre, however, there are also moments where the pace of the opening sequence could suggest a different genre, but with the other conventions of the social drama genre in my opening sequence, it is clear. The main character is shown as isolated, using the convention of my chosen genre. This is shown in the film Kess, as the boy feels isolated after his father kills the kestrel he has been caring for. This is emphasised by the sounds I used in my opening sequence, such as the voices at the end as they reflect how he is isolated. The music and sound I've used in my opening sequence is slow at the beginning, as, it, as this is conventional. However, later on in the opening sequence, there is a turning point where the pace is quickened by the use of sound. The voices come in and bombard the boy, building the tension and challenging the conventions of the film genre, as shown in Kidhood.